What's up, YouTube? Poke Primer here. Primer Rage Delivery. You are week five battle against. Um, I'm so tired. Uh, the Birmingham Entes here in the MPBF. Um, yes, uh, there's still the bug on Showdown. Um, so that's a thing. So that's why I have the not actual sprites or not actual uh, things. Um, as well as also. Um, I'm so tired. It's one o'clock in the morning, by the way. Um, it is one o'clock in the morning. It is one o'clock Monday morning. Um, battles are due by ten forty-five a.m. Uh, PST. So um, this is probably the best time and the only time I was going to be able to get this battle done at this point because we've had scheduling issues all week and neither one of us take wants to take a forfeit. So I'm here to do this battle now. Uh, we see that he brought pretty much almost the exact same team as last time. I actually am going to. Um, by the way, a little bit of an update when it comes to the league. I'm actually now one of the commissioners of the league. Uh, they upgraded me to being a commissioner because uh, I've been doing so much for the league, and they've really been appreciating all the help I've been giving and whatnot to try to keep things solid, especially with the recaps and everything. Uh, yeah, he brought almost the exact same team, except he swapped out um, Lapras for Whimsicott. So that's really cool. That's really, really cool. Um so I think um, uh, I'm not going to give him the good luck because I've been having bad luck lately when it comes to battles. So I'm not going to be giving anyone any extra luck that I don't have. Um, so um, in this matchup, I think I lose almost nothing by leading with my Cryogonal. Although at the same time, I kind of want to lead with Licky Licky. So... <sighs> Here we're in the situation. Yes, yeah, why I didn't give good luck. A little bit of a funk toward the GL. Um, I'm actually thinking about leading straight off with my Weavile. Because half his team doesn't want to take on take it on 1v1. I'm going to do that. We're going to lead off Weavile. If he leads... If he leads Whimsicott, I can just go straight for... We have Icicle Crash, right? Yeah. If he leads Whimsicott, I just go straight for... I'll give, I'll give him a good luck, because he, we, me and him are cool. Logan's a cool guy. I like him. He's cool. Sorry. Right, so we're going to pull Weavile up in the calcs here, and we're going to see what the fuck we can do, what kind of mischief we're going to get in turn fucking one. Uh. Oh, man, dude. Let's see what we got. <laughs> All right. He's going to lead out with Swampert, so that's not exactly ideal. Um, how much can I do to a Mega Swampert? Uh, yeah. Ice will crash is 35, too. Um, what are the odds he goes for a Earthquake turn 1? What are the odds he goes for Earthquake turn 1? Uh, I called him Symmetry. He's supposed to be called Symmetrical. Damn it. Um... I just go straight to Rotom. I'm not even going to waste the time. I just go straight Rotom every time. He's going to set up his rocks. That's fine. Um, I do have the Defog on Cryo, so I'm not worried about it. Um, just going to go ahead and... Part of me wants to just Volt Switch, because he can't really stay in here. Part of me wants to go for the Willow. I'm just going to go for the Willow. It's safer. And if he goes hard, um, Nine Tails, I can work around that. Oh, god damn it. Uh, I really wish we weren't battling this late, man. I'm fucking beat, dude. 
It's been a long weekend. I just spent like basically the entire weekend with my girlfriend, so I'm pretty fucking wiped out. Honestly. Um Yeah, I'm fucking dead, dude. I'm actually dead. Tired. The most dead tired I've been in a while. Uh, okay, so he has rocks up, so I'm going to have to get rid of those ASAP because I have three mons on my team weak to it, one of which is my defogger. I am actually insane. <laughs> um, but no, I think we should be fine. Uh, what play just turns out bad for me in this situation? What play is just like, like what possible play does he make that just turns out horrible for me? Um... I mean, you know, I'm going to go for the Volt Switch. And here's why. Because this thing can't touch me. Garchomp can't touch me. We learned that in last game. Like, no set of Garchomp that he can bring can touch me. To the point where I can't just, like, willow and beat him. So, I think Volt Switch is just my best play. I can get some serious momentum off of him. And I'm out of soda. That is unfortunate. <laughs> okay, we should get the Volt Switch off on the Bouffalant. That's cool. Um... I'm going to go out into Dust Noir right now, because this thing can't touch Dust Noir at all. I'm just going to throw off Toxic. I lose nothing by going for Toxic. I lose absolutely nothing by going for this Toxic right now. If he wants to hit me with something, that's fine. Most he can really do to me is Bandit EQ. Because even Banded Pursuit doesn't do a lot, and I'm not switching out. So, I'm going to get the Toxic off. It's going to go for a Swords Dance. Um, it's a good thing I have Haze, because I'm just going to tell you right now, buddy. Listen, listen. Logan, Logan, I, I see what you're trying to do here. You want to get your Swords up, I get you. I got it. But, my boy, um, you can't be sitting up in front of me. I, I'm not down to have you setting up in front of me. So I'm going to have to throw up this haze, and you're going to have to drop them swords, and we're going we're gonna to go back to having a nice, casual, friendly Pokemon battle. Okay? Okay? We good? Okay? Okay? We good? Okay? Okay? We good? Oh, I can't wait to see his reaction when I click this haze. Ooh, I can't wait to... See this? <sighs> Alright. So, we're gonna get this haze off, and he's gonna do, like, minimal damage to me. So I know he's not banded. Let me actually break some of these things down. I'm actually gonna open myself up a notepad on my desktop, because usually I have one on my phone, but I'm texting my girlfriend before she falls asleep. So, um, SD Buffalant Min Speed, because I outsped it with, uh, what's it call it? Rocks on Pert. So we got so far. We don't know anything about Pert's speed stat or anything, so we're just kind of rolling with it. Oh. Come on, man. It is 1.09 in the morning, dude. I, I, I don't care that we're battling late. Like, I, it's partially my fault, because I've, I've been rough with scheduling this week, I know. But, uh... Let's try to kick... Pick up this pace, my man. I am fucking tired. I'm really fucking tired. Ugh. But I'm committed to live comming these games. Whether if it's at 1 in the afternoon or 1 in the morning, we are live comming these battles. So, let's get it. Oof. Haze, there it is. It's off. He's going to SD again. That's fine. I can just spam Haze. I'm lose I lose nothing by spamming Haze against him. That's the thing. Like, I can spam the Haze, and he's never going to get an SD up. Oh, let me get this fucking hoodie off, because it's... Oh, weighing me down, dog. Weighing me down. At this point, he might as well just go for damage on me, because he can't really do any... Like, he can't set up on me at all. 
He will not be able to set up on me. Oh, we did Frisk. Uh, it's Resto Chesto. Oh, okay. Okay, buddy. Okay. We are going to still go for the Haze. I'm not going to let him get an SD up, but he's Resto Chesto Buffalon, which is nice to know. Okay, so he's just going to go for that. That's fine. Um, what is Ninetales going to do to me? Actually, let's make note of that on our notepad real quick. Min speed, resto, chesto. Let's see, nine tails versus me. What do we got? Fire blast and the sun's doing over half. Uh, I kind of want to toxic this too, but I kind of don't. Want to take any chances of him being subplot? Okay, so he predicted my toxic. That's fine. What is Venusaur going to do to me in the sun? Sun Sweeper. Modest Chlorophyll Life Orb. Uh, unless he's Solar Beam, light, like Modest Life Orb Solar Beam, he's not doing too much to me. And unless he goes for... I'm gonna Ice Punch. He's Growth Venusaur. Okay, um, that is immediately a problem. And I immediately have to click Haze right now. <laughs> I immediately have to click Haze right this minute. Because I'm not dealing with any of that. No. Giga Drain does so much damage. Oh, no, no, no. That is not okay. That is absolutely not in the realm of things that are okay. Um, I'm going to haze this turn again, because I can't risk him getting up another growth on me. That did, is it plus two? Uh, we saw no life orb, so that's not like leftovers, so it's like, maybe like Miracle Seed. Uh, it's a little too weak for Miracle Seed. Maybe he's timid. Is he timid Miracle Seed or something like that? Yeah, probably something around like that. Probably something like that. Timid Miracle Seed or something like that. Timid Grass Plate. Oh, this Venusaur is going to be such a pain in the dick. Oh, I hate this fucking Pokemon, dude. I hate this Pokemon. Oh, do I hate this fucking Pokemon. All right, we'll find out this turn, too, if he's Heat Rock, and we'll be able to make note of that. Um, because if... Um, it's Timid Venusaur. Timid Saur, for sure. Uh, C? Question mark? He's going to Growth again. We're just going to Haze. We're not wasting the time. And the sun does not go away. So, Heat Rock... Nine tails. Do I even have anything that can like 1v1 this the way it is? I don't think so. I just have to stay in with Dust Wire right now. Yeah, I should stay in with Dust Wire right now and go for this Ice Punch. Get the damage off. Hope for a freeze. Don't get it. That's fine. I'm going to go for the Haze this turn, just in case he tries to be sneaky. In case he tries to sneak one past me there. But, uh... Part of me wants to go for the sneak to get the damage off. But I know that's probably not smart. Actually... What do I lose by doing that? What do I lose by doing that? I go sneak for damage. If he tries to set up again, um, yeah, I go sneak for damage because if he tries to set up again, he's not gonna. Okay, good. So how much does Weavile do with Ice Shard to this? 48 minimum. That's more than enough for me. Uh, just gonna click Ice Shard. 
We just click an ice shard out here because I'm not fucking with this Venusaur anymore. I'm, Kim, I'm not fucking with this Venusaur anymore. I want it dead. I want it dead. It does say we're doing 48.5 minimum to Venusaur with this ice shard. We have to. I really hope he stays in right now, dude. I really hope he stays the fuck in. Because if he doesn't, we might be in trouble. Like, if he can get this Venusaur back in later, we might have a big fucking problem on our hands. I want to be ballsy and go for the Icicle Crash, but I don't think that's smart. <sighs> I really need this to kill. I really need this to kill. I really need him to not be, like, HP invested. I really need a lot of things here to go my way on this turn. I need him to not switch. Like, if he stays in with the Venusaur right now and sacks it, or if he stays in with the Venusaur right now, like, I'm, I'm golden. He goes Swamper. That's smart. That was a smart play. I gotta go hard. I have to go hard road him on this thing again. Oh, man. That Venusaur is gonna be such a huge threat late game. That Venusaur is gonna be a big deal. I need to get Cryogonal in too. That's the thing. I need to get Cryo in fast and get those rocks off the field. I need to get this gone and rocks gone. That's priorities A and B. Because if I don't get those rocks off the field, we're in trouble. I need to get them gone ASAP. Oh. In the future, I'm going to have to look harder at like what I bring for hazard removal. Rotom probably would have been a much better hazard remover in this game. Could I have gotten rid of Pain Split, maybe? I don't know. we got to go hard. we got to go hard, Rotom. There's nothing else we can do. we got to go hard, Rotom. Toxic. That's fine with me. God. Like, this is just so much more difficult because of these rocks being up now, too. Okay, he goes nine tails. That is okay with me because I know he's heat rocks. I know I'm faster. Oh, but do I want to take that risk, dude? First off, let's let's take a look at that damage. Rotom wash against nine tails. Uh Volt Switch only did nineteen percent, so he's just max HP. He's spadef. You definitely got spadef investment. Well, regardless.
just gonna scrape for the body slam. I have to. I have to go straight for the body slam here and get some more damage off on things. I need to get everything in range of where Weavile can just start clicking knockoff and Icicle Crash and killing shit. That's what I need right now. I need to be in a situation where he feels comfortable leaving the um, Ninetales in on the Weavile. Could not be going worse. I need to like slow down. Okay, get the para. Get the para on the Venusaur, please. Yes! Oh, baby, yes. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, we're just gonna go for another body slam. Um, he shouldn't be able to do that much to us in the broad scheme of things, so we should be able to beat him down. If he gets fully paired at any point, too, that really helps. <sighs> that para is so clutch. That para is so clutch because... What does paralysis do to your speed? Just half it. So, like, if he's at 284... Okay, so Okay, so he just he just stayed in. He just stayed in and he sacks it. It's gone. Oh thank God. Oh thank Jesus. Oh thank Jesus Christ. He got the poison off of the sludge bomb, which really fucking blows, but it's gone. It's gone and I don't have to worry about it. It's gone and it's dead. I don't have to worry about it. Perfect. That's that's a Venusaur gone. And that's something that I really didn't want to have to deal with. So I'm really glad it's gone. At this point, um, whatever he brings in, I'm throwing up a wish with Licky Licky and seeing what happens. I hope it puts me in range of dying to poison so that whatever I can go into can get the wish back and kill something, hopefully, at the same time. Because Weavile beats... Chomp with the Ice Shard. I also have the Scarf Cryo for the Chomp. It goes to this. Uh... He's not fighting him again, so I'm going to be able to hopefully get a Wish off. I am more Spideff than Fizdef, so he's probably going to kill me here. But if he does, then that's really good for me. I'm actually going to Heal Bell. I'm actually going to Heal Bell because I do want the Toxic off of my Rotom. So that is the plan. We're going to do that. Actually, he's probably going to try to... No. I'm going to Body Slam him because I think he's going to try to... Oh, he goes for Facade. Nice. Alright, I'm going for Heal Bell this turn just in case he tries to SD. Um... He's going to be put down really low by this uh, toxic damage, which is really good for me. Yes, okay, good. We got rid of that. 
He rests no chest out, which is totally fine with me. Um, because... Why is that okay with me? It's actually really not okay with me. It's actually really not okay with me because now I have a Bouffalant staring me down that's back at full HP. And I don't have my typical response ready to handle it. Which was the Dust Noir. I mean, it's Bouffalant. Like, it's not gonna... SD, Facade, Rest. Is he Sleep Talk? Oh, he could have maybe not been able to touch my fucking boot, my Dust Noir at all. Oh, why did I let Dust Noir go down? Oh, I had to at that time. At the time, I didn't really have a choice, though. I really didn't. He's just gonna go for the Facade kill. That's fine. Um, basically, just have to go for the burn with Rotom right now. Yeah. That's what I have to do. Um, I'm gonna try to burn it with Rotom. Um, to at least have some chip on it and be able to mitigate its damage output. Yeah, we're gonna burn it. He's gonna go for the SD there. That's fine. Um, That was actually really stupid now that I think about it, because he has Facade, and I'm actually immediately kicking myself in the ass for that. Uh, that was such a dumb play, and I'm immediately regretting it my actions. Oh god, that did so much. Okay, so what I need to do here is I need to whittle him down with these. I can still beat... This just became trickier. I can still beat the Swampert. If he rests here, then we're kind of okay. Because at least it gets us back up to a decent amount of HP. Oh. I know I shouldn't have brought the same team again. Like, basically the same team. Because he could totally more so counter-team me, but... I just didn't have the time this week. It was a raw, it was a rough week. I'm it sucks, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I did that, but I had to do what I had to do. With as many other leagues as I'm in right now, which is a regrettable decision in the long run, I just had to I had to I had to make some sacrifices. Yep. Okay. So we vile against Buffalon. Say he's max HP. Okay, so should be able to kill with an Icicle Crash. And he doesn't have a switch into Icicle Crash. So, I'm gonna go for Icicle Crash. If I miss this Icicle Crash, we probably just lose the game. So, please don't miss this Icicle Crash. Please? Thank you. Like, actually, please don't miss this Icicle Crash. I'm really begging you not to miss High School Crash. No! We, we lose. We definitely just lose this game now. Oh, no. I needed that to kill. Oh, he had HP investment. Oh, no. I lose. I'm definitely losing this game. I should not have played this game this tired. Yeah, there's no way I win this. I lose. I just straight up lose. I don't see a way out of this. I don't see a way out of this match with a W.
Yep, that's it. I almost clicked to go cryo, but I didn't. He's just gonna go Dragonium, yeah, whatever. Um, if I wasn't choiced, I'd have a chance at this, but... If I wasn't choice locked, I'd have a chance. Unless I somehow freeze the Ninetales and it has no move to break freeze. Yeah, there's no excuse. There's no excuse for that. There's no reason I should have lost. Um, I shouldn't have played dead tired. I should have re-prepped a team. I should have actually prepped a fresh team instead of just re-bringing the same shit as last time. Um... We just that just cost us our undefeated streak for no fucking reason because I was just fucking stupid and lazy. That's all that was. There's no other excuse. I apologize for my performance in this match. I apologize in general for this week of the MPBF. I'm sorry, this is just I played like shit. I played like pure shit. I knew I needed to preserve um I knew I needed to preserve Dustin Wire for Buffalon. I didn't. I knew I should have prepped harder for the Venusaur and the Nine Tails, but I just blew it off, and here we are now. So that's it for that. That was dumb. I should have brought Defog on Rotom. I knew it. I, I said it to myself after the team builder and everything, but I made the decision to just go with what I had, and it was dumb. That was stupid. I I should have had Defog on Rotom for one. I should have reprepped the team for two, because if I had been a different set of Cryogonal, I might have been a little bit better off. I had thought about an AV set for a minute. Um, I also could have still run Spin if I was AV instead of Defog, and then I would have been Gucci. Um, actually, if I was AV, I would have probably just potentially won this game. <sighs> God damn it. <sighs> I'm just going to go. I'm sorry, guys.